India has banned Pakistani airlines from using Indian airspace. Satellite images clearly shows the consequences of India suspending the Indus Water Treaty, as the Chenab River in Shialkot has run dry. India has issued four notifications for naval missile firings in coastal area of Gujarat, which is just 85 nautical miles from where Pakistan Navy is doing its naval drills in the Arabian Sea. In anticipation of possible Indian retaliation, Pakistan has deployed its 300 km range Lockheed TPS-77 multi-role long-range air surveillance radar system to forward positions. India has rapidly deployed high-frequency jamming systems to disrupt global navigation satellite system to impair Pakistan's drone navigation, precision-guided munitions and missiles. The defense minister has said that the Indian government will fast-track indigenous cavalry engine program while attracting foreign engine manufacturers into co-development and co-production frameworks with assured tech transfer, and will build a materials and testing ecosystem that will support high-thrust propulsion technology. A high-level defense ministry delegation visited Egypt, including the chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics Bharat Electronics Limited and Bharat Dynamics. The integration process of Brahmo's NG missile on Rafale aircraft will begin after its initial trials on the Su-30 in late 2025, and the Rafale will support a single Brahmo's missile in initial phases, that will be scaled to twin loadouts. Tato Advanced Systems Limited will showcase its weapon at AGS variant at the Defense Exhibition Athens 2025. In a major development, the Indian Air Force has begun receiving initial batches of the Astra Mark II air-to-air -air missile for its Su-30 fleet, that positions it as a formidable asset in air superiority missions. The 160 km range Astra Mark II has quietly entered limited series production, and will outperform the recently showcased 145 km Chinese PL-15 missile on J-10 and JF-17 fighters of Pakistan Air Force. In the event of a conflict, the Astra Mark II's induction will provide a strategic advantage, and will ensure that India has the ability to counter threats at standoff distances. A new design of the Katz Hunter air-launched cruise missile has surfaced, revealing a significant departure from the prototype showcased by Hindustan Aeronautics at Aero India 2021. The newly revealed design adopts a streamlined low observable stealth profile with a flattened angular body, blended winglets and a more integrated exhaust, aimed to reduce its radar cross-section. The updated Katz Hunter is now powered by the GTR redeveloped PTAE-7 small turbojet engine, and will have a range of over 350 km, that will be capable of engaging high-value targets like enemy command centers air defense systems and logistics hubs from a safe standoff distance. Pune-based Sirino has successfully completed ground testing of world's first emission-free all-electric jet engine. The engine surpassed its design benchmarks, and clocked over 40,000 rpm and delivered 10 kg force of thrust. The company will integrate and test the engine on a UAV by mid-2026, that will be followed by adaptation to seaplanes and ground effect vehicles across both civilian and defense segments. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, drop it.